some of them like invoke emotions which i really really love and i'm like is that how people fall in love that was what he was giving me at some point blood and vibes so in conclusion should you watch this movie hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're coming across me for the first time welcome my name is Bemi, and i'm a youtuber based in lagos nigeria and in today's video i'll be reviewing this movie i know that like I'm a, i might be like the last person on this show but i just felt like i promised you guys if you're in my community tab you would have seen that i said i was going to do this so i said let me let me just do it and apart from that i just felt like it's something that i really genuinely want to do so i'll be reviewing the movie jago jago if you've not seen jago jago like it's on netflix and you can actually just download or watch it if you have a netflix subscription or tell your sister or your brother to just give you login details <laughs> I'll start it by what the movie is really centered around and I'll be talking about the things I love about it, the other side as well and my conclusion, right? So the movie is by Femi Adebayo and it was um, directed by Tokpe Adebayo and I think Femi Adebayo as well and um, before I even get to the movie, I love how Femi Adebayo has evolved over the years when I see actors and actresses that i watched growing up and they are like evolving it feels so good to me like i mean they're not just stagnant where you used to be like you're evolving the fact that family Bayo was able to work with netflix like it's a lot for me like i was so excited for him like i was really so happy like that's it do you understand like i really really love it and i'm just, i was so happy for him like i was really really happy for him jagunagu is centered around a young man um that's botija trying to learn how to fight battle so during that period he was you know faced with so much envy due to his bravery and he was opened up to some mysterious things as well so basically it was centered around botija which as if i did played the character and also Guniji, which was from Adebayo himself. And so Oguniji is like a man that is a very powerful and respected and feared amongst everybody. So he was the owner of the Batu Academy. That's how I can like translate it. So it's more like having an academy for people that wants to learn and also go to war. So basically he was the owner of the of the academy so to say i'm just using academy in this context what it that came to learn there and that was where everything started from it was opened up some mysteries he started becoming so um big and it, because of the power he has before it was like exhibiting those power and authority and it was really very bold and brave and then people started envying him and including the Oguri G himself so like it was just a lot like a, an action-packed movie which i really think it's like a stepping stone for nollywood it's something that we don't know nollywood for right and I'm, I'm happy that something like this is happening in nollywood industry right starting from the cinematography guys if you know me so well you know how much i'm interested in anything that has to do with production i'm so invested the cinematography of this movie is a hundred i mean like the cinema the hangers guys did you see when latif was coming from that he was like that mountain did you guys see that hango i can't have like any clip here because i have had issues with uh reuse content before and i don't want that thing to happen again but like if you watch the movie when it was coming there was an hango that was short there like i was like oh my god like something was jumping inside of me like so look at that like i really really love that so basically i love the cinematography this camera was clean the transitions were clean like i really love it I, i'm not exaggerating like i love the production it was really really good it was really really good the camera the transition the angles every single thing was really really good like it was clear and crisp the color grading was was like on point although i would have loved if the color grading looked ancient do you get what i'm trying to say like maybe it looked a bit ancient like their portrait because i'm very sure that, that story is like years ago right so i feel like we should have portrayed something like in the 1970s or you know something like that but even though even though i kind of like i kind of love the cinematography was so crisp was so clean 
I love the transitions. I love the angles. I love the camera movement. I love, it was so good. Apart from the color grading thing that I mentioned, the cinematography was so good. And then moving to lighting, guys. Lighting is part of production, right? And I and I've told you guys that I love production a lot. Lighting was so good. The good production for me is cinematography, lighting, sound. She gets like it was really, really, really good. I love this like the lighting. It was really, really good. And let's come to sound. The sound was good. And I love the songs they used. They were so perfect. Like I love how some some of them like evoke emotions, which I really, really love. And some of them were just like fitting perfectly into that scene or into that scenario like for example when what i was bringing back keton like i love the the song that i was playing that time it was evoking emotions so like i love the sound i love the songs that they used it's the only song i did i did averages with was the when they were showing the credit ending credits i'm like who is rapping like this isn't supposed to be like an ancient movie like do you understand like it's not like um it's not like a 2023 ish movie or 2022 movie like why are you rapping why are you showing me rap why are you singing rap so apart from that the song is so perfect i said for the rap in the end credits because they don't rap then so why or are there people that still do that kind of thing right like right now in 2023 maybe there are still some villages that do that i'm not sure but like if the idea was like back then I don't think they rap so <laughs> that song wasn't in line for me it was just out of line moving to costume guys these people it, i give it a hundred like these people went all out for the costume like i love every single thing they wore like from what the um warriors were wearing the warriors costume literally like portrayed somebody that is a slave do you understand like it was i just just liked the the vibe was giving me when i saw it i was like okay like i, I literally love the costume every every single thing the only costume i had to use with was the agemos i'm like this is agemo that is supposedly a mysterious person right so why is why is everything falling off like this so apart from that like i i i love the costume like it was it was giving like it was perfect it, it fit into the content direction it fit into the production so perfectly personally for me i rate it a hundred now moving to the makeup guys this production was giving me goosebumps right the makeup was really good i love how there's consistency in the makeup they, like i love the consistency of the makeup like every single thing like there was no point where somebody is trying to was looking at like this in the last thing and then the person is looking different now like from the start to finish, all the warriors in training, they were literally looking the same way to the end. Like when Latif was inside the casket, when they were fighting, like every single thing. I love the makeup. I love the makeup. I love the VFX that they did. Every like it was so perfect. I literally love it. Like this is me saying I watched it for this, and I was like, what? I'm not like I've not seen um makeup but like this one is actually like i love the i just love the consistency the consistency from the beginning to the end it was so perfect like everybody looks the same way like you get like and if there's a point where something probably changed it was probably because maybe somebody was fighting or something is happening like it's not like it just fell out of line the makeup was really really good moving to the location but too the location was not really giving me an ancient vibe do you understand but i still love the choice of our seas like for example like when they i think that was the beginning of the movie where there was you know bad war and then they were fighting between two villages i love that that was giving me bollywood because it's only in Bahu Bali that you see two people fighting inside like a very big forest do you understand like i love the location the location was perfect and i think i saw on twitter the guy that did i think some of the asses were not literally like no, no, I think just one. Ogunji's house is not, it's not like physical. It was just V. I forgot what they call that thing. I think it's VFX. I'll put it on the screen. I will go and search for that guy and put it on the screen. But literally, what I'm trying to say is, I love the location and it was so perfect for 
the movie direction and what the movie is trying to like portray i really love the location so to the character and casting oh my god the person that i want to know that casting director the person did a very very great job that was an amazing job like it was i love the choice of people i love the choice of character to be honest i love that it was that see if i did the that played that i love that it was fitty avalokun that played that because fitty avalokun does fit perfectly into that role like it does it's not like you you're, you're doing something like this and it just enters like this like it's like you're king something and it just key together like i love it so much like it was i was like what the only thing i feel about it is i honestly feel like there were too many characters and there were too many unnecessary characters in my opinion to be honest like i feel like it was star studded which is not even a problem for me. when people say movies are star studded i feel like okay i i'm supposed to see people that i know familiar faces but this particular one has a lot of characters that are not on, that are very unnecessary because i don't know if they i can't even see their impact they were supposed to be like a focus on something do you understand like they're supposed to be like a focus on something and a particular person or people i'm not in i didn't study cinematography or filmography but i still feel like when i'm watching something as like it's supposed to be like a focus on something there might be plot twist here but like i'm supposed to have a focus i'm supposed to have like something that i am actually focused on i'm like okay this is what i'm watching do you understand so like i didn't get i didn't get it with this character like everybody was just there was just this passion like here and there i'm like these people are too much like these characters are too much but like okay i would still like give them a good rating for like the character choice and the casting i love that it was i shot lawa that played that it, like i was like that is it do you understand like i loved it so much i loved Aisha Lawa's character. I love it so so much. So like I give them a good rating for the casting. It was really, really good. Yeah, I love that. They didn't they didn't pick based on, you know, this person is I they, they actually went for the people that can actually do it, which is so good for me. Let's talk about the dialogue. Honestly, like what was on my mind when I was watching this movie was I need to know who wrote the script because the person is very good. Like, first, I love the script. I love how deep in like how deep the yorubas were because it was portraying that okay it was portraying that this is like a fully fledged yoruba um kingdom right and how these people bodied the dialogue you know there's a difference between saying and i will kill you today and i will kill you today and, like, and i will kill you today like you know so like i love how every of this character carries dialogue with them like it was so good i really love it i love it like i don't know if the character of the script is looking the person that actually wrote this i'm not talking about the scripts um i'm not talking about the story the person that came up with the storyline or direction or something i'm talking about the person that actually wrote put it on paper put the way the people will say it on paper you did you did a very very good job and i and for my heart i'm praying that god will bless you like because the person did an amazing job so now let's move to the storyline okay personally i love what you're trying to say okay um there's there's a powerful man and everybody fears him everybody dear looks at his face and all of that but i literally feel like it could be it, it could be told better to be honest because when i was watching this movie i'm not gonna lie to you i feel i just felt like skipping at some point like you're dragging so like i said earlier some scenes were too long it was like you're dragging this scene what is going on like i just wanted to skip and just go i'm not saying that i'm, I'm not saying i'm going to skip because it's bad but i feel like some scenes are unnecessarily very long like there was nothing like what okay okay right now what is going on what is happening here like when um latif killed Ogundiji, when Gotija killed Ogundiji, i'm like okay fine you have killed I even understand when before he was killed, but like so, some of these things were just unnecessary, and I wanted to just keep like I'm not even skipping based on suspense. So I just need to skip because he, the some of these things were already so long, and it was becoming boring. Like let me just keep this thing. Do you understand? So like the storyline, I, I I believe it could have been told. The story could have been told better. Do you understand? I'm not saying that the movie is like 
it's actually a good production but like the story should could have been told better to be honest oh so, okay so what did went to a new village to learn how to go to the war and somebody is trying to envy him but, you know at some point i was not clear on why Ogoliji was saying was eating on him because in my opinion like this is somebody that you know you are confident that you don't have that doesn't have as much power as you do like where is the old i feel personally the way it could have been that would have made more clarity to me was maybe it could have been repetition of you know stuff some of the reasons why i was doing this was not even making sense to me like okay well, i was talking to Keaton and then he saved his wife and what else like why because at some point i was like why is this eating on him i don't understand like, i don't get it like why is he eating on him i didn't really i was not able to establish that and I was thinking, what is because everything that they were trying to establish is not even prove a point to me for somebody to be eating somebody to the extent that he wanted to kill the person. Do you understand? I was put inside prison for seven days, inside a castle for seven days. Why? What exactly has gotten to that point? And nobody, okay, fine. I even understand nobody can actually ask him questions, but like, it's still, it, there could have been something that is really, 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 really like, look, that even you, you don't have to like think, like, what is that? Like, you know, ah, you save you save you don't what you don't do do you understand like but i can't see, it was just doing what it was it was just doing the normal thing it was just talking to it was talking to this girl Kito, and then you listen in your room that i was talking and then you were rage you were raging like how another thing i thought about was okay maybe because the girl is a gamer and then it just feels like maybe something will happen and then it was not, it was not, she, and then it will not be able to use the girl again or something but even at that there's supposed to have been an establishment of something that is already on our mind because i was just lost like why what's happening like this thing is not even up to like what will get you angry at somebody like this so what's going on do you understand so that's what i that's actually what i feel and another thing is some of the actions were very fake i'm like i understand trying to be like in bollywood but you know us in this nigeria that used to say ah bollywood is doing this one is doing that some of the actions were very fake like fake blood and i would literally see it on my skin like this that this thing is just fake do you understand and i'm like what <laughs> what's going on so I, some of the actions too were even unnecessary at some point i was just thinking that i'm just watching blood and vibes that's what that was what it was giving me at some point blood and vibes some of the actions were so fake it was so so fake and i'm like could have been better like could have been better and before you come for me i know that we are still trying to this is nollywood and we are trying to improve but this is something that i feel about when i was watching like this and it could have been told a different way if instead of it being fake do you understand so i feel like some of the actions were so fake i'm like and please tell me how agemo that was supposed to go and kill somebody then the person now is it the power that Botija has because in my opinion when she was armed she was supposed to disappear not that somebody would like then you came to meet him and say then you came to see the person and, say, and then you opened it Women, i'm like personally you know that this person is agemo this thing is agemo and you know what agemo does you know agemo is supposed to be a spirit right what prompted it to not go and open the person's face and say who is this person like it was not just telling for me like and then i'm like ah. so agemo did not cannot even disappear like are you being serious also this guy died this guy that was born and this girl as you told me there was no establishment of relationship between them before the guy died and i'm just seeing somebody that was crying i'm like why is this person crying until i started seeing true backs and i'm like i've met you on me now they're supposed to even if it's just one or two scenes they're supposed to be like a scene that actually gives us an in-depth understanding into what relationship they have before not that i would just see somebody that was just waiting uh, and i'm like what's going on that for me could have been better and even thinking about both jan keton i just i saw them talking one time or twice and the next thing i'm seeing you me and i'm like is that how people fall in love even to the end i can't i can't i can't like feel a chemistry between them do you understand like is that how people fall in love just twice just spoke twice and then you're in love with me and they were already calling us uh same if when anytime that he says if i always feel like 
I can't feel it because it seems fake. It was supposed to be like an a proper establishment of a relationship between them as well. So that we can like, okay, this person these people are already in love. I just saw that she opened her she opened her, her body and the art sex. That's not like no, I want like a proper intimacy, maybe spending time together, eating together, making sacrifices for each other as lovers and all of that. Like it's just it was just not Personally, I feel like that point was not established, to be honest. Like, I understand plot twist, and I understand when a story is just, when something is just added, so that people will just be like, oh, what happened? That story that he talked to and said, oh, he's not my father, uh, he was using me for this. I feel like that was just too big, in my opinion, because he was supposed to have been something right because this is like a story you're taking us through a journey and i just and i'm, I'm like he didn't even he didn't even touch anything inside of me when she said it like he was just using me he didn't give back to me. i'm like okay he didn't touch anything because he, 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 there was supposed to have been scenes where maybe the girl was crying for no reason i'm just saying i don't necessarily be what i'm saying but i'm like maybe she was just crying for no reason reason moody and, and they were like ah, what's going on why are you crying what's this? there's supposed to have been something that we are already established but it's not clear to us do you understand but like i don't know but that for me oh, that thing was just i just feel like they just put it there like let's just give these people something to that is not a plot twist for me, honestly. Like, I tried to understand what they wanted to do there. Maybe, like, a plot twist or something. But that is not a plot twist for me. Overall, like, the story... I understand where the story was coming from, honestly. Like, I understand what they want to do. But I feel like it was just all over the place for me. Like, okay, there's a powerful man. There's Potita. There's Kito. There's... I can't, like, put it together and say, okay, this is actually, like... Okay. I don't know. Like, it was just not... I couldn't even attach any emotions. You know when you're watching a movie and then you feel like they are carrying you, like they are, you're taking you from there to here. I couldn't like put myself in the story. Like I didn't see myself in the story. Do you understand? But honestly, like I understand what they're trying to do. But it didn't really, it didn't really, you know, eat it for me. The storyline, honestly, like it didn't really eat it for me. But other aspects, cinematography, makeup, wardrobe, lighting sound acting casting character gosh it was so perfect like i really really love it but the story is not really 100 for me like it was only because it was just this past like okay i'm like okay yeah it's one it's like somebody's just trying to impress us i'm like so the actors are just exaggerated like so that the general just say oh nobody would have done this thing like you know maybe personally what i look out for is how oh, you can take me from year to year. I love good production, and like I said, like the camera and all. But apart from that, I love it when I'm I put myself into a story, like, and I'm like, I'm, I'm as I'm seeing each scene, I'm taking, I'm actually like going from, I'm going with you, even when I don't even know maybe if there's suspense or something. I still feel like, okay, ah, what's going to happen? I think I didn't feel like that when I was watching this, and honestly. I feel like it could be better. So, in conclusion, should you watch this movie? I still feel like you should. But if you don't watch it, you're not missing out on, on anything. Maybe you're missing out on on blood. <laughs> or you can put out blood or something. But that's just a joke. Should you watch? Would I recommend? Mm, I would recommend because it would it would amuse you. And but if you're very big on a story or storytelling you might not really find this movie interesting or if you like production you like actions or something that you use I, I feel like you'll find this really interesting so so it, i i can't really say i recommend i can't say i don't recommend it just depends on what you like if you're a very good if a bigger story it might not really resonate with you if you're big on other stuff i think this is a movie you should watch and it, once again kudos to the production team kudos to film by the bio he did a very amazing job. The fact that he was even able to work with Netflix, do you know what it means to do that? I don't know that's a big win for him and the Yoruba movie industry. So I give it to him as down. You guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Please don't even don't come for me, <laughs> but let me just know what you think in the comment section. Uh, what are your what are your thoughts about the movie? Do you see it differently? Let me know. But please, let's be constructive. 
thanks and god bless you um i've come to the end of this video thank you guys for watching this video once again and if you watch this video to this point and you're not yet subscribed to my channel please and check here for the subscription button and then one of my videos that one of my previous videos please watch and subscribe and i'm going to see you guys in my next video until then please stay blessed and stay fabulous bye